What's up guys, it's Ricky and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about this anime series called the Jinju Eto Collection, which is pretty much a bunch of really cool like Japanese horror stories that that's pretty much been around for quite some time but they finally got like animated and they have a whole anime series that centers around them so i recently started watching it i i know it was around for quite some time now but i just hadn't had the time to watch it but i've read the manga of these different horror stories because every single episode had it follows a different uh character from the manga so there will be a different protagonist, whether it be Soichi or Tommy or Fuchi, which to me, if you if you guys have um, if you guys have um, read some of these mangas from the Jinju Eto collection, I think that Fuchi, the the pretty much the model uh, protagonist, is the most scariest woman ever like when i saw it's different from when you actually saw the from the animation it was already scary but to see it being animated in an anime yo yo that nah that that thing it creeped me out like the first half of that episode just creeped me out so much like but that's besides the point, but that was one of the most scariest for me because of how creepy they make this woman look. Like, look at this woman's face. Do, do you see this? This thing is scary. And in every single episode, it's pretty much like a standalone type episode, type anime, you could say. But it's pretty much centering around how the manga used to be, and I'm so glad that they got animated. And... I like the art style. The art style is really there's something like uh, it feels like early the early 2000 types of anime art style, but a little bit more modern. I don't know. That's what it, that's what it, it reminds me of. So I don't know about you guys, but I, I I wanted to recommend that you guys watch this if you are looking for a good scare or you know you're looking for like. Something to make you jump, something to make you you say, oh, I I I, I wasn't expecting this, Ricky. It, I I'm so surprised, Ricky. What is this? It, it's 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 like I don't know something about Japanese like horror or like th their stories. It's creepy to me. Like it's. I, it, it's beyond like American or the, the the Western style horror stories for me Japanese or anything that's like in Asia that's it's beyond scary to me I don't know why I don't know because I'm not used to the culture but I've pretty much been obsessed with like the Asian culture for my whole life but Asian like horror stories or like uh, folk tales T stuff like that it's much more creepier to me so this this series is like every single episode is gonna be like a different ride for you there's like funny moments in the anime it depends on which episodes you're watching but there's also just very very creepy creepy moments where you're just like I should have watched this anime during the day instead of watching it at 3 a.m. in the morning which I did that and I was boy oh boy that that it wasn't smart I recommend that you guys watch this anime during the day but you know if you have a uh, cojones you know you could watch it you know what you know what cojones means it, if you got big balls you could you could watch this you know at night and you know live on the wild side I don't know if you want to do that but this anime series it's just it's it's just something fun and more like on the scarier side or you know like it's filled with like a uh, suspension or there, there's bits of little comedy in there and there's just moments that are just like unsettling to me like 
it's very creepy. It's very, very creepy. I, I'm gonna tell you that. It, this series is very creepy, but I think you guys would really enjoy it. It's something definitely different from like shonen type animes or the ichi type, you know, the perverted type animes. Or, you know, food type, like freaking uh, uh, food wars or something, but it's something different. Something different. And if you're looking for a good scare, I highly recommend you check out the Junji Ito collection. You could watch it on Crunchyroll. <laughs> Crunchy you could watch it on Crunchyroll or wherever you watch anime. I'm here. I'm not here to tell you where to watch your anime, but uh, you could go watch it on Crunchyroll because they got everything there in full 1080p glory no this is not a sponsored video i wish i wish i was sponsored by country euro one day one day but yeah guys check that out uh i highly recommend it it's worth watching and you guys will definitely enjoy this series Ugh. okay Guys, I am out of here. I know I haven't been posting for a while, but guys, I'm back on my grind and I'm gonna keep on posting more videos for you guys. So, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to check out the Jinju Ito collection. Very, very scary. So, please proceed with caution. I'll see you guys in the next video.